Comic-Con going? Great. Our first Comic-Con for all of us. Up in your cherries, yay! It's fun because like, <laughs> our whole cast, it's a first for us. So like, and the Wibs. And the Wibs, so we're kind of getting to do this entire adventure together, which yeah. is just so fitting for our show. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What can you tell us about your characters? Yeah, sure. Um, my character is Ethan. Yeah, he's kind of a guy. He's, uh, he's also a law student. And, uh, he's kind of the voice of reason. And, uh, he's also Jess's childhood best friend. And they grew up together. Had a very strong bond. He's a bit of a uh, love friend. Oh, so, uh, my character is willing to do just about anything And uh, I'm a rookie FBI agent. She was top of her class at Quantico, really excelled, but then on her first big job, she kind of botched it. And she got kicked down from DC to the Baton Rouge field, where in her first few days, Jess and Tasha come in with this crazy story of a uh, possible treasure and a kidnapping and she just thinks she's getting hazed essentially and um, but then kind of starts to put all the pieces together and stays a few steps behind all these guys but then goes on a hunt of her own to figure out what is actually going on here maybe there's more to this than it seems so she's doing her own little journey parallel to them. Well, I mean, when it cro crossed my desk, I, my desk. Um, I, I knew what National Treasure was, of course. I actually hadn't seen the movies beforehand. But yes, I was told that it was an FBI agent. In my mind, I was like, oh, I like Harvey Keitel, maybe? Um, and then the weird thing about this audition process, or all of them since COVID, is they're all virtual. Like you used to be able to go into a room and you would read with the casting director, you would get feedback, you would get notes, adjustments, and then you would tailor your performance. In this new world, you essentially hope you're guessing right on these tapes, and I guess we all guessed right in our first one. <laughs> yeah, and then we did a Zoom with the lips and uh, I did yeah, I did about three, two. Yeah, it started off with the same thing. It felt good, you know, like when you put on a jacket, it just feels right. And it just felt really good, so I was holding up for that. And then they started doing the chemistry reads. The chemistry reads are number two. I think I did about three on Zoom, and they had to do the last one in person just to make sure it was. You had it in person? Yep, and it was a big deal. I did COVID tested. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I never got to do in person with anyone. I'm done. As soon as we did the in person, <laughs> you're like done. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> 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 Well, I watched the movies since I hadn't seen them, um, and then I started just researching. I was trying to figure out maybe like how old Angel Frost was, how like where she like her steps along the way. So I did a lot of research as to what type of schooling you would want to have to be an FBI agent. Um, the process of going through Monaco, the type of mental endurance you have to do to do a job like that, but his training was a huge part of it. Um, I knew I was going to be working with a weapon on the show, so I did weapons train with an instructor just to make sure that everything looked cohesive and, and authentic. So for me, it was a lot of like mental prep on her backstory and then some cool like aspect of what was yeah, for me, um, I knew that my role was very crucial to Jess's character and their childhood and their upbringing. Just their history. So, in uh, the sense I did talk about it. Yeah, we just wrote down, I, I, I usually write down the actual characters just to get like, you know, more specific details. And then my character is also a like, law student, so just a lot of law and order, you know. Series of 
So we're talking about the suggestion before. But what was it like for you? How much was it just being able to play that kind of like be able to fight, kick, jump, and everything else, like in the court setting? I didn't do it much as good. Mm -hmm. But whenever I got the chance, it was just a lot of fun. Kick something. I try and do all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a little too dangerous. And I'll give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> so, whenever we get to the school, I'm going to play this. Yeah, and we had a really, really good stunt coordinator on the show and a really good armor that where there was weapons involved. Everybody knew how to handle their weapon. Um, we had great explosions at times and all of that. Like, you don't have to do that much work. You're reacting to an actual squid blowing a wall or something. So, yeah, it's mostly reacting. There's a lot of stunts as well. Reacting to taking a hit, reacting to what's going on around you. So it's actually pretty easy to fall in when the world has been focused on. That's it. This is so yes. great. Yes. 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 I think because we get the opportunity to do essentially 10 mini movies, if you love the first two, you'll probably love the next 10 that we're going to give you. There's a huge set piece in every single episode. There's no episode that lags. I mean, it is full steam ahead, so they're going to get the action and the adventure and the romance and all of it. They kind of get a little bit more of the character study as well because we have more time. Thank you so much. It was really nice to meet you guys. Thank you.